Okay, so the second question that we are going to do is from June 2012, paper 4.1. Part A, define gravitational potential at a point. Make sure to memorize the definition because gaining marks in this part is like gaining free marks. So, gravitational potential at a point is work done in bringing unit mass from infinity to the point. Part B, the gravitational potential at distance r from point mass m is given by the expression, where g is the gravitational constant. Explain the significance of the negative sign in this expression. So, we know that gravitational force is always an active, attractive force. Force is always an attractive force. And since uh, gravitational potential I'm just going to write the sign here. Gravitational potential is zero at infinity. So when r, which is the radius or the distance from the point mass, when r will decrease, that means the value of gravitational potential is going to become negative. Right, so as R decreases, object does work. And value of becomes negative right a spherical planet may be assumed to be an isolated point mass with its mass concentrated at its center a small mass m is moving near to a normal two the surface of the planet. The mass moves away from the planet through a short distance h. State and explain why the change in gravitational potential energy of the mass is given by expression this, where g is acceleration of free fall. Right, so a couple of words to pay attention to. So we know that the force on what will be the force on the mass obviously the force on the mass would be the would be weight right which is mg in these type of questions always ask this question to yourself what is the force on a mass or an object so the force here is the weight of the object right since it is close to the planet so force on the mass would be equal to mg which is weight and this g here is g is what 
its gravitational field strength. Strength. Right? Now, if R is at H and H is a short distance, then what is going to happen to G? It is going to be constant. Let me show you. This is the planet. And this is the mass. Now this distance right here is very short. Since the distance is very short, the gravitational field strength is not going to change much. So the change would be negligible. Hence, we can say that G, which is gravitational field strength, would be constant when R is equal to H. And H is a short distance, right? So the second point would be, if R is at h then g is constant remember that we have to prove this equation now finally what is our formula becoming when we put these two uh, points together gravitational potential energy is equal to force into distance or height moved now remember this distance or height is short it's h so since it's h it becomes mg H. Moving on to part D. The planet in C has mass M and diameter this. The project GM for this planet is okay. The rock, a rock initially at rest a long distance from the planet, accelerates towards the planet. Assuming that the planet has negligible atmosphere, calculate the speed of the rock as it hits the surface of the planet. Right. So, firstly, let's establish this fact that potential energy is being converted to kinetic energy. So that would be half m v square is equal to m you also need to know something where is this coming from why are we writing uh, gravitational potential energy as this so this is coming from since we know that uh, gravitational potential energy's formula is is negative g m m over r. And remember, this is at long distances. This formula is for long distances, and we know that the formula of gravitational potential, gravitational potential, is by negative g m over r so that means when you combine these two it basically means that potential energy gravitational potential energy is equal to m into 
uh, m into gravitational potential right so change in uh, gravitational potential energy would be is equals to would be equals to m into change in gravitational potential i hope that makes sense So this uh, derivation is very important here. Now how we are getting this. So moving on. We need to find the speed, right? So this M gets cancelled. And then we are left with half V square and change in gravitational potential. Now there's a formula that we wrote here of uh, gravitation potential and we are just going to substitute that. So V square is equal to 2 into G M over R, right? And now simply plug in the values. Remember that you have been given with diameter, not radius. Diameter, not radius so you have to half the diameter 2 into what is the value 4.3 to 10 to the power uh, 13 4.3 into 10 to the power 13 over radius 6.8 into 10 to the power 3 okay you have to convert into meters So six point eight that would simply become to convert into meters you can write ten to the power six over two make sure to have and make a bigger under root. And the final answer would be five point zero into ten to the power three meter per second. This is our speed.